I took a Lapa yoga course. And uh, I tried to channel the laughing Buddha. And it worked for a bit, but all mostly I got the belly rather than the laugh. You know. But I learned in laughing yoga, I learned to go from a depressed cynic to a laughing idiot within um, 30 seconds. So I'd like to show you how to do that. Get you warmed up and laughing today. So this, I guess I'll have to take this off. How does this come off? No. Okay, so this is how you get from cynic to laughter. Quick. You start off with, you have to go, huh. And you have to have that sneer on there. So try that, huh. And then the next time you're going to do it twice, huh, huh. Now three times, huh, huh, huh. Now four times, ha, 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 ha. Five times, ha, ha, They're all laughing, but that's really. And so now the next time you see your friend in the co-op, you can just say, ha! And it'll start the whole house giggling. So, thanks. Now you know. I'll hold on to this, I guess. Okay. Um, depression is, is uh, emotional constipation, and laughter is the laxative. And I was in, <laughs> I was in Walmart. Uh, recently, and this very overworked young woman was in the stall next to me, and her kids were running around outside. And I hear her say, Oh no, I don't have time to be constipated. <laughs> and I started laughing right out loud, and the kids started laughing, and she started laughing, and then she said, Oh, that's a lot better. <laughs> so, laughing is a great medicine. And you get, when you laugh, you get the production of that love bonding hormone, oxytocin. Not to be confused with oxytocin. Uh, but you get it from hugging puppies, for eating chocolate, and you get it when you have an orgasm. Well, laughing and orgasm are very similar. Besides the chemicals, you get the heavy, deep breathing and the great vocalization. And in the moment, you cannot think of anything else. And come on. Ha! <laughs> you got to get warmed up here. I'm doing this for Ed Hill. Uh, I noticed when I started writing comedy that sex jokes always got to laugh. So I, when I was thinking over my sex life to see what the funny was, I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> My mother, uh, God just bless her, she gave me the talk and she told me, nice girls keep their legs together. And she caught me riding the horse bareback one time and called a prayer circle to restore my hymen. <laughs> <laughs> That's like about as likely as trying to put the plastic wrap back on a CD. <laughs> And I used to be so embarrassed by the F word. But if it was written on the wall or sidewalks, I'd have to cross the street. And you can imagine how long it took me to get to school. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you couldn't use a washroom. It was out of the question. You know? But after some very um, good therapy, I'm able now to say fuck so easily that I can't even go out in polite company. <laughs> in fact, I almost started this tonight with, fuck, what am I doing here? <laughs> but uh, maybe I, I, I really get off writing on the walls and sidewalks, too. <laughs> and maybe you see my work, I have a little heart-shaped happy face under the exclamation point. So. Um, the last time I did comedy in Yuki, I was lamenting the physical changes that come with getting older, because I am getting older, 
And I wrote a kind of a comedy poem, a cowboy rhyming poem. I'll see if I can remember it. I love it, though. Uh, Saturday Night Special, Streisand on TV. She's showing her age almost as much as me. What used to be triceps, flaps in the breeze, breasts drop to belly, and belly drops to knees. <laughs> Everything is hanging, gravity poked to the floor, hair sprouts overnight where it wasn't before. I, I had hoped to age gracefully, dignified, wise, and serene. Instead, I'm becoming clumsy, cranky, and mean. That's my poem. <laughs> really hard because I can't see your faces. <laughs> <You're all laughing>. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that was a few years ago, but now the changes that I notice are more in my brain. And I was talking to a woman friend a few days ago and lamenting that I couldn't multitask anymore like I used to. The only multitasking I do now is sneezing and peeing. <laughs> And she said, oh, I know what you mean. She said, every time I sneeze, I have an orgasm. And I said, well, whoa, what do you do for that? She says, pepper. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is, uh, reminds me of my first Mac computer. When I'm, I'm trying to remember words or names, it's like searching through floppy disk files. Remember floppy disk files? Maybe probably before your time. Hey. <laughs> but hours of days later, you get what you want and what you're looking for, and then you can't remember why you wanted it. And I had, I had a good brain. I, it used to be like fiber optic, fast connecting, and then it slowed to high speed and um, uh, cable and satellite dish connection. But now it's like island.net phone connection with high screeching and ringing in the ears and often no connection at all. And I, uh, can't hear you. Well, I was just going to say, everyone at my table, nobody knows Island.net, I'm the only one. Oh. <laughs> you that screeching sound. Dial up, baby, dial up. If you look up porn, you might as well go to the store. <laughs> I well, I, my mind-body connection is still good, though, and my mind thinks, and my body goes immediately to where my mind was thinking, and then I can't remember what I went there for. And um, it's like wandering and wondering. It reminds me of traveling stone in the late 60s, wandering and wondering. <laughs> and with that, I have a really, one of my favorite jokes I want to tell you. It's three ladies in a Three naked ladies in a sonda. You know that one? Haven't heard that one? Well, there's three naked ladies in the sauna. Two are young, youngish, 30, 35, and then there's an older woman, somewhat about my age. And they're sitting there, and, and there's this buzzing sound, and one of the young women picks up her hand, and she starts talking into her hand. And, and then she puts it down, and she said, oh yeah, I have a, a, an implant here. Uh, for my telephone, you know, I'm preaching the other woman, same thing. She starts talking into her hand. She has an implant. And the old lady gets up, walks out of the sauna, just disgusted, comes back a few minutes later, and she's trailing a piece of toilet paper from her butt. And she walks up to the lady, she says, well, will you look at that, I'm getting a fax. <laughs>